Hello and welcome to the 2009-2010 Student Model Search Semi-Finals. I'm Tim Creswell and I'm going to be getting under the skin of our model finalists. We've got 18 whittled down from 800. They're having their hair coiffured, their makeup put on and their photos taken. And we're going to try and get those 18 down to three boys and three girls. 2009-2010 Student Model Search Semi-Finals is in association with Prime Deluxe, Jack Chan's Bar, 45 Clothing, Home, Arena Hair and Beauty Salon, Hargreaves Images, and 24-7 Magazine. Now I'm sat here with Lauren Taverner brown Editor-in-Chief of it 24-7. How are you doing, Lauren? Editor-in-Chief, eh? It's your new title, I've just given it to you. It. Thanks. Good. How, how did this year's competition come about and sort of how, how has it been different a bit to last year? Um, it's different because we are doing it with Arena. Um, they're the salon that we're working with. We're working with some different brands as well. What I find nuts about this whole thing is that literally all of those shops are all on one road. They're all like, you've got all these amazing new pop-up shops that are all just up and down one road, and that's incredible. That's a sneaky part of the plan. So that we could keep it all here? Well, we're keeping it local. We're keeping it at Ebrington Street. Wicked. Well, I'm going to go and have a little uh, little wander and meet some of the competitors. Do you, do you, have, you, have you sort of plumped for any that you think might be the... I can possibly name favourites at this stage. Is it a little bit too early to tell? You can't ask me that. I can. I can't. <laughs> all right, I'll come and ask you later on. Okay. Lauren Tavener Brown. I'm here with Natalie, one of our competitors this year at the semi-finals. Natalie, how are you? I'm good. I'm here with Chris. Uh, Chris is in the hot seat. How are you doing, big fella? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Good stuff. You, uh, how's your day been so far? Tiring. I can't imagine that you as a student get up this time on a Sunday very often. Definitely not. Hi, Lizzie. Where are you from? Uh, Guildford, near London. So we're on the sofa with? Maz. Maz. How are you doing, Maz? I'm good. I'm here with Charlie, one of the tallest of our male competitors here at the uh, Model Comp. How are you doing, Charlie? I'm doing good, thanks. Good stuff. Have you had a good day so far? Yeah, it's been good, good, good fun. Yeah, good fun. So how did you uh, how did you get to this year's Modeling Comp? Um, saw it in 24-7 magazine. I think my friend Bryn actually showed it to me. Um, and just emailed you a few pictures. And then I got a phone call, and I'm here. Wicked. Do you know this has been whittled down from about 800 people? Oh, really? No, I didn't. Yeah, so well done. Thanks. And you're obviously at uni here. Is it in Plymouth, your uni? Plymouth University, yeah. What, what do you study? Uh, geology. Oh, fantastic. Bit of, bit of rock study. Bit of rock studies, yeah. Good man. So you're going to be a geography teacher? Um, hopefully not. I'm here with another one of this year's 2009 semi-finalists. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm um, Charlie Bruce, and I'm from Modbury. It's not very far away. It's not, is it? Okay, I'm with Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. How are you? Hi, I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, very well. Are you enjoying your Sunday? Yes, oh, kind of. <laughs> We're here with Annie. Hello, Annie. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. Good. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm 19 I'm, and I'm from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Yeah, and then before I came here, a seagull stole my sandwich. A seagull stole your sandwich? sandwich. Yes. That's possibly the best thing that's happened all day. Yeah, I've got I don't want to blame. <laughs> It's a blameless crime. <laughs> you can't get angry at the seagull because it's already gone. Yeah, that's like screaming. Like, ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. So, have you been in Plymouth long? You're, you're a student here, yeah? Yeah, I'm studying business management. Right, we're here on the uh, on the garden bench with uh, John. With John. Hi, John. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Yourself? Very, very good on this lovely Sunday afternoon. What, uh, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, oh, my name's John. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Uh, Entered the competition and not really much expected. I hear your girlfriend made you do it. She made me do it. She forced me physically. Yeah. Quite a lot of people aren't sort of forthcoming themselves. They just get pushed forward to do it. Yeah. I'm going to get myself out of this uh, environment of womanly makeup and hair and get down to see where our models are getting dressed. And if you just take a short walk down Ebrington Street for Marina, you'll find yourself at the beautiful Prime. And this is where our models are getting styled today for their clothing shots. Pam. 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 On the hot sofa, I wear with Lynn from Prime. How are you doing, Lynn? I'm fine, thank you. Good, it's a bright and sunny Sunday morning. Yes, it is. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. We're in the wonderful Prime. Uh, that's Plymouth's probably Plymouth's greatest skate shop, isn't it? Skate, snow, lifestyle. And since you guys have been here, it's really like this street. Like I, I remember this street from a few years ago, and it's really picked up the sort of business and the trend of Edmonton Street. Absolutely, it's um, it's going off here. You know, there's some really really good stores opening, and um, and some stores that have been open for the past 12, 18 months now. And um, yeah, it's going off.
Sunday wouldn't be Sunday without coffee with mates and reading the Sunday papers. And what better place to spend it than one of Plymouth's premier clothing outlets? I'm here with Jade. And uh, Jade, you work at 45, is that correct? Yep. We're in this beautiful shop and it's you've been open now about a year, is that right? Yeah, just over a year. Just over a year. And how's things going? Pretty good, pretty good. We're getting busy, Christmas time. Yeah, it's a lovely vibe in here. It's kind of, you know, somewhere you could probably come and spend half the day just reading the paper and occasionally getting up, browsing, buying some stuff and going to see it back down again. Yeah, well, we try to keep it quite relaxed with the music and stuff on a Sunday. Everyone's hung over. Everyone just needs to chill out on a Sunday. What's your role this year within the model competition? Um, at the moment, I'm helping uh, choose clothes and styling the models. What sort of look are we going for? What, what's 45 all about in terms of its look and in terms of, sort of what you're providing for people? It's quite diverse because we've got the vintage side of things and then we've got the, the new side of things. So we're just trying to go for like um, lots of different looks, kind of like more dressy and then some more casual. So yeah. Right, so uh, I'm going to leave Jade and we're going to go back and check out some how, how our models are getting on. Thanks, Jade. Thank you. We're here with... Becky. Oh, Becky, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Go. Um, I'm 20 and I'm from Bristol. <laughs> Hello, my name is Constantina Zahariadi and I'm from Greece. Your name is? Constantina Zahariadi. It's difficult to pronounce, I know. It is a little difficult to pronounce. Uh, right, how did you get into this year's student modelling competition? Well, I was walking around during the Freshers Fair and the photographer picked me out and he's like, do you want to sign up for this? I was like, okay, and I did. Cool. And what, what course are you studying? you uni in Plymouth, yeah? Uh, what course are you doing here? I'm doing law. Yeah. Uh, and what do you study here at uni? A medicine. Oh, she's a medicine, a doctor. Yeah. So we've got a brain rock, somebody who's not just uh, not just a pretty face. I'm not that clever. <laughs> <laughs> Lucia on the sofa, how are you, Lucia? Are you right? Yeah, fine. Have you had a nice day? Oh, yeah. After night shift. <laughs> oh, you just had a night shift? Well done for being here, that's, that's dedication. All right, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. What's your name? Uh, Ollie. And where are you from, Oli? Uh, from Bournemouth originally. From Bournemouth originally. Cool. And you're obviously here at uni doing doing uh, doing psychology. I'm in my first year. I've heard psychology is packed full of women. It is, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Just over a year ago, Charlotte, I think we were sat in this, in, not in the same place, but in a fairly similar position. Me interviewing you. How's things? <laughs> yes, we were sat in a similar position. <laughs> yes, we were. Yeah. You don't recognise. You don't recognise Charlotte. Charlotte was one of our last year's uh, finalists for our 2008-2009 modelling competition. Yes, I was. I was indeed. And how have things? How how did you find that first? I don't think we had sort of a post mortem of, of last year's competition. <laughs> yes, events. It was such a good night. I had such a good time. The event was amazing. I had so much of a vibe about it. No, it was great. Made so many new friends from it as well. Yeah. Hence why I'm up here again today. Did it give you confidence to kind of? Do you, do you know what I mean? Like oh, was? Yeah, definitely. Like last year, it gave me so much confidence because obviously I just split up from my ex-fiance so I didn't know anyone when I came up here or anything and then I met all of the people in the modeling competition met Jay met Lauren and it gave me such a confidence boost and I made so many new friends from it all and had such a good year so if you if you were to give any advice to these guys that they're probably a bit nervous as like you guys all you lot were last year you know like if you were to sort of give some advice to these guys coming in today I would say trust the girls in there with the salon of what they, I've had a few people kind of moan oh I'm not sure about my makeup I'm not sure about this and I would just just trust them because they're doing a good job they look all amazing so I know it's sometimes it's not what you're used to personally but trust their judgment on the situation thank you very much lovely to see you again you. to find out a little bit more about our competitors this year we're going to go for a quick fire questions round are you ready yeah that was your first question well done if you were to pick any town to live in in the world where would you pick Christchurch Christchurch in New Zealand Bournemouth Christchurch in Bournemouth Okay, the other Christchurch. Do you have a party trick? Uh, my thumb bends back to my wrist. It's unique. It's what makes people amazing. All the way to her wrist. That is a little bit disgusting. <laughs> no, I used to think that I could uh, do the old like, like back stuff, but that never really happened. I was just like landing on your back. It's always a good idea when you're drunk. Yeah, best idea when you. Then you end up with a black eye. People are laughing at you, not with you. So. It's what magazine series? Twenty four seven when it's around. What do you want to be when you grow up? A uh, detective. Detective? That's really specific. Well, I'm into loads of things, so either like a stylist, model, or singer. What car do you drive? Um, a Rover. A Rover? How old are you? A Rover. <laughs> a Rover? I did have a Rover, You're yeah. the second person today that's had a Rover. Really? <laughs> oh, come on, they're cute. Is there anything that you would never want your parents to find out about? My tongue piercing. Your tongue, but they don't know about your tongue. Let's have a look. Ooh, they know about it now if they see this video, don't they? Oh, there's a list. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, there's loads of things like um, every day. <laughs> I think I do. 
<laughs> yeah. That I've entered Britain's Next Top Model, unless I get into it. <laughs> You've entered Brit Britain's Next Top Model? Maybe. So this, is, this is outstanding practice for that. Right, and if you could sum yourself up in one sentence, what would you? How would you sum yourself up? Uh, loud, talkative, and nice. <laughs> <laughs> They're like all the words you're told not to put ever in an essay. I am nice. Uh, nutty most of the time. If I have some sugar, I'm bouncing off the walls. Fun, uh, enthusiastic, and excitable. Um, shy but approachable. Um, random. Uh, awkward. Fun. Probably say that I, I love my friends and family fiercely. I would do anything for them. That is my, I love fiercely, definitely. So I'm on the sofa with Lara, the beautiful Lara, owner of uh, Arena Hair Salon. How are you, Lara? I'm good today, thank you. Have you had a lovely day? Uh, yeah, really good, thank you. Yeah, really good. Um, really nice models, nice to talk to. Obviously, your team, they've been, they've been in here on a Sunday. Is it their day off normally today? They've come in on a Sunday in order to sort of get our models ready for their, for their final shoots and stuff. So you must be really, really proud of those guys. Yeah, um, some of them have got hangovers, but um, <laughs> they all look really good. And they've been really good today, so they've made everyone look fantastic. So it's cool. Big thank kudos. you, thank you very much. So obviously now the next step is to, is to go through all of the photos that we've got, looking at their hair and makeup, looking at how they've done in terms of the models, looking at sort of their interviews and, you know, and, and picking the best out. Have you got any that you've sort of seen already that you might, might sort of be, be pumping for? Well, it's really hard because they're all really nice people and they're all beautiful and they just did really well. So it's going to be really difficult. So yeah. we shall see. We shall see. But it's time to pick those out. Cool. We I don't want to do it. I don't want to be the one to pick them. <laughs> Well, thanks very much, Lara. It's been a fantastic day, and thanks for uh, putting up your putting up arena as your as the venue for it. Yeah, thank you for coming. So we've met our competitors and we've met our judges, and all there is time to do now is for the judges to get themselves into a small room, brew a big pot of coffee, and to figure out which three guys and which three girls they want to see back in January. Until then, I'll see you soon. <laughs>